A lot has been said about the word essential over the past year. Many people were surprised to learn that they are, in fact, an essential worker, while others who fell into the non-essential category felt dismissed. It is not wrong to say that in the modern American value system, what you do is who you are. Of course, if you're a Christian, your identity is found in something far more important than what you do, or even in you at all. For the Christian, their identity is found in Christ, and more specifically, in the body of Christ. What happens when the church is not essential? Is that even possible? Has the church worked her way into the non-essential category in American society? It appears as though that is the case for a vast number of people in our country. But does the public get a say in whether or not the church is or is not essential? In a way, yes. The church has been directed to meet the needs of the poor, the orphan, and the widow, and to be a positive force on the earth uh, by modeling the good works of Jesus. And those are social works that anyone would agree are essential. But the bigger question is, is the church essential to God? In addition to good works, the church is to fulfill many other scriptural mandates uh, that further God's will on the earth and that benefit the earth and that benefit His people. And not the least of all, the church is to fulfill God's will that benefits Himself. But has the church fallen short of these essential functions? Out of fairness to the church, I can't answer that question for sure because God is the only one who has the complete picture. And the last thing that I want to be is accused of being a bully to the bride of Christ. But I will say this, I believe that it's time for a firm but loving course correction within the church. And that starts with the rediscovery of what it means to be the essential church.